everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Masandra and in today's video we are making this sweater so it's actually very easy and it's also a tutorial that you'll be able to play around with I made a mini dress like a sweater dress but in the tutorial I'll give you instructions how you can actually make this into a crop top into a normal sweater into an oversized sweater even a fitted sweater as well so the tutorial actually just takes you through the process of you playing around and going just doing what you actually want if you don't want a mini dress then it's fine if you even if you want a long dress you'll definitely be able to make it with this tutorial so i did use after the crochet and single crochet stitch throughout the tutorial so it's really very very easy and i did use a 3.3 millimeter crochet hook and a 4 millimeter crochet hook but again, you can use whatever crochet hook you want to and whatever size of yarn that you want to use. I used a medium weight, but you can even use a crunchy um, yarn or even a tinier yarn. It's up to you. Um, so let's get right into the video. So for this tutorial, I'm using this ball, big ball of yarn. So one of these is 300 gram. And I'm going to use a 3.5 three millimeter crochet hook so you can use any yarn of your choice this actually recommends a three to three point five millimeter crochet hook so this is the perfect hook and to get started we are going to just so to get started i'm going to make a slip knot and i'm going to chain a total of 150 chains which is the length of your sweater so 150 chain is actually a total of 31 inches so if you want your sweater to be shorter or if you want it to be longer then you go ahead and adjust the chains that you're making but i am making a total of 150 which is 31 inches long <laughs> So after chaining the amount of chain you're going for, for your length, you're going to chain an extra one and right into the second chain from the hook right there, you're going to go with your after book crochet, which is yarn over, insert your crochet hook in the second chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you're going to continue to do one after book crochet all up until the end of this row. So at the end, you should have a total. I am going to have a total of 150. So it depends on how many chain you did make for your own size. To get started with row two, you're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and right into this first after book crochet from the previous row, we are going to go with one after book crochet, but we are working in the back loop of this row. So right there, we are going to go with our first after book crochet, and into the next with another after book crochet. And then another one right into the next. So I'm going to continue to do after book crochet in the back loop up until the very end of this row. <laughs> So to get started with row 3, we are going to chain 1 and repeat the same thing in the back loop. So you're going to do this for a total of our, the half of your bust measurement. So if your bust measurement is a total of 25 inches, you're going to divide that and then just do this for the amount of measurements you get when you divide your bust measurement. You, might all, you can also go ahead and make it a bit looser. That is if you want your your sweater to be a bit loose and not too tight. So I would advise you to go ahead and add a few more inches if you want your sweater to be a bit looser. So I'm going to go ahead and make to continue to do rows of the after book crochet until I get my my desired measurement and I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, right here I have my desire whip, my desire bust length. So I did a total of 58 rows, which gives me a total of 20 inches. So my actual bust measurement is 38 inches. So I added a few more rows to it. So for now, this is complete. This is how long my sweater is. Like I said, it's a total of 31 inches long and the width is a total of 20 inches wide. So, so know how many rows you need to do for your front panel before increase before decreasing for the v shape you're going to go ahead and fold your panel into two like this and you're going to go ahead and take your shoulder pad measurement so mine is a total of seven inches so after taking your measurement right from this side the folded area is right here this is the center of your sweater and this is the the shoulder part of your center for your, for your back panel so you're going to take your measurement tip after taking your shoulder part measurement mine is a total of six inches so right here at six inches you're going to go ahead and take your stitch marker and make sure you mark this side and also the opposite side so given that my six measurement from this side is right my shoulder part measurement is right there. I'm going to go ahead and mark this area because that is where six inches actually stops. So after marking the area, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and count how many rows I have up until my stitch marker. So right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen rows. So for the front panel, you're going to go ahead and chain the same amount you did for your back panel. Work your total of 17 rows right until the stitch marker because this is where we are going to start decreasing for the vein neckline. So after decreasing for a while, we're also going to go ahead and decrease just so we can balance off and do the remaining 17 rows of the other side of your panel. So I'm going to go ahead and do my 17 rows of half double crochet with no increases and no decrease. And I'm going to come right back and show you how you can go about decreasing for the neckline so this is different for every size i just showed you how you can go about and measure how you want your neckline to be or how wide you want your for your own measurement so definitely go ahead and fold and do the same process that i just did take your shoulder part measurement and do the same thing so i'm going to go ahead and do the rows of after book crochet 17 rows and then i'll come back with my front panel and show you how we can go about decreasing for the neckline so guys, right here I have my 17 rows of after work crochet complete for my front panel and this is how it looks. So I'm just going to align this right on top of my back panel so you can have a good look of what this is looking like. So this is where the stitch marker is like I said previously. So right there is a stitch marker and right here is my front panel. So now we are going to go about decreasing for the V neckline that we are going for for this sweater. So to determine how many rows you will need to do for your decrease before you start doing your increase row, you are going to, right here we have a total of 17, right? So you're going to count from the opposite side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 half double crochet from the opposite side is right here, just like 17 from this side is right here. So now you're going to go ahead and count how many rows you have in between the 17 markers, like the stitch markers right here, because you can go ahead and add one more stitch marker right there. So you're going to count how many rows are in between these two stitch markers. In my case, it's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so in my case i have a total of 23 rows in between my two stitch markers so the 23 rows you're going to divide by two and then at the end you should have a total of 20 11 sorry so in my case it's 11 and a half so there's one more rows in between that is because i ended up with an uneven number so if you ended up with an uneven number that's fine so you're just going to go ahead and divide the amount you got right in the middle so my case is 23 so when divided that will be 
11 and a half so i'm going to go ahead and take this for 11 rows and the one extra row which is the uneven number i'm going to go ahead and do just a normal row without increase or decreases and right there from there i'm going to go ahead and do another 11 rows of increases which is going to balance everything and then from there i'm going to do my normal rows 17 rows of no increases and no decreases so if you ended up with an even number that's fine let's say for example you ended up with a total of 24 rows in between the stitch markers you're going to go ahead and decrease for 12 rows and then you're going to go ahead and increase for another 12 rows but if you ended up with an uneven number like me then you can go ahead and decrease and then the one uneven number you're just going to do normal rows of double after double crochet and then you're going to go again and and the increase for the same amount of decrease that you made so i hope you guys understand what i'm doing but i'm going to walk you guys along so you can actually get to know what i'm actually doing so to get started with row 18 this is where we are going to go about um a decrease row so we are going to decrease two at the beginning so we are not going to change anything since we are decreasing and we are going to go right into turning to the next and right from here you're going to yarn over and you're skipping this first after row crochet right here so this is our first after row crochet so we are going to skip this first after row crochet and into the second we are going to go with after row crochet decrease so you're going to go right there with your loop now you have to instead of yarning over and pulling through you're going to go right into the next with your yarn your hook and then now you have four so you're going to yarn over and pull through also so this is actually a two decrease so we just like skip the first one and then we attached we after we crochet this two second one together the second and the third after we crochet together so this is our first increase so right till the end of this row i'm just going to do one after we crochet in every space up until the very end of the row and then i'll see you guys at the end of the row So coming right at the end of row 18, I'm just going to make sure I add one after row crochet up until the very end because we are not doing any decreases on this side because this is the lowest part of our sweater. So right there, I'm going to go with my last after row crochet and I'm going to chain one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my work and just continue to work after row crochet in every space with no increases and decreases up until the top of this row where i go about doing my second set of decreases and i'll see you guys when i'm at that point so guys coming to the end of row 18 i am going to go ahead and do my two decreases because we are decreasing two times for each row so as you can see, we have four after the crochet right here. So we are going to go ahead and decrease this two together. And now it's one. And then we are going to do the same thing for this last two after the crochet. And this actually completes row 18, row 19, sorry. So to get started with row 20, you're going to turn around. And right from here, you're going to skip this first after row crochet and into the second, you're going to go with your after row crochet decrease. And you're making sure you're decreasing the second and the third together. So this actually completes row 20, we decrease for row 20. So now I'm going to continue to do this for another 11 rows and then I'll come and see you guys when I have that complete. So guys, right here you can see I already did my 17 rows of no increase and no decrease and I did my 11th row of decreases. So I just did my last row which is my row 29 and this one is no increase and no decrease because this is the one even ribbed. This is the one that I need to do to balance of everything since my work end up, I ended up with an uneven number so this is the one 
that I mentioned um, in the previous clip. So if you did have an even number, then you, of course you don't have to do this. You can just divide them amongst you go from here into two and then do decreases and the other half increases so i just wanted to come on and show you guys so i wanted to come on and show you guys what mine looks like at this point and this is the front panel and this is the back so now i'm just going to go ahead and increase for another 11 rows so i can have my neckline complete and then i'm going to go ahead and do my v my normal rows of half double crochet again so to get started with my increase row, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn. So right into this first after book crochet, I'm going to go there with two after book crochet right into this back loop. And into the next with another two sets of after book crochet. The reason why we are doing two sets of after book crochet in the first two after book crochet was because we did decrease two after book crochet. So you're going to increase two after book crochet for 11 rows in my case so if you're doing another size then of course yours is different from mine so i'm just going to go ahead and do my after book crochet all the way till the end and when i'm coming up i'm going to continue to do after book crochet increases for two more increases on the next row and i'm going to continue to do that for a total of 11 row which is going to balance off the decreases that we did on this part of the panel <music> So guys, this is how my front panel is looking like. I just finished my 11 rows of increasing. So I now I'm going to go ahead and do 17 rows of not increasing or decreases because that was what we did at the beginning. So again, this is going to be different for every size. But if you're making a size medium, then yours is just like mine. So now I'm just going to complete my left 17 rows of half double crochet with no increases and no decreases. And then the front panel is finished and we can go ahead and attach in. The front panel to the back panel before we get started with the sleeves hey guys so right here i have my rows of after book crochet complete so i did a total of 70 57 rows like i did for the back panel and now i'm going to assemble both the front panel right on top of the back panel so we can slip stitch both panels together so guys right here i have my both panels aligned together so you can go ahead and do the same for your own panel so now i'm going to go ahead and single crochet my shoulder part and single crochet the opposite shoulder part together right here to about 17 this is where i'm going to go ahead and single crochet to the end and i'm going to do the same for the opposite side so if you did obviously made another size then yours is different and afterwards i'm going to go ahead and tip my measurement tape and measure how wide i want my I'm also be so I'm going to go ahead and measure that and then from here I'm going to go ahead and just slip stitch all the way to the end of the top so I'll go ahead and do that now and come back and show you guys what mine is looking like without the sleeves <laughs> So guys, right here I have my shoulder, both shoulders attached. So I have both my, of my shoulders attached. So I'm going to go ahead and just slip stitch the sides together. So this depends on how wide you want your sleeve to be, or how loose, how tight you want, or how loose you want it to be. So I want mine to be um a bit low so i'm just going to go ahead and right from here i'm going to take my so my actual arm measurement when divided is eight so that is supposed to be right here but i'm going to go ahead and extra two just so i can have the loose arm all that i'm going for and right from here i'm just going to go ahead and single crochet all the way to the bottom of the top
So guys, right here I have both panels attached together and I already turned it to the right side. And this is the side seam after being attached together and this is how they look. I tried it on and it actually fits well. Mine actually came out of this. So again, if I if you want it to be shorter, then of course you adjust the measurement. But I wanted mine to be right under my but so that was perfect for me so now we are going to go ahead and start working on the sleeves so we are also working around the length we are working with the length and then we make our way up to the width of the sleeve so, and to get started with our sleeves you're going to take your measurement of how long you want your sleeve to be so for the sleeve i am switching my crochet hook to a four millimeter crochet hook the whole time we were using a three millimeter so to get started i'm just going to make a slip knot and i'm going to chain a chain that is 21 inches long and that is the length of my sleeve if you want your sleeve to be shorter you go ahead and do less if you want it to be longer then go ahead and do more <laughs> So guys right here i have my sleeve length i changed the total of 85 so i'm going to go ahead and switch my crochet hook from a four millimeter right again into a three millimeter and you're going to see why because we'll be switching back to this hook in a minute so after switching my crochet hook i'm just going to go ahead and chain an extra one which does not count as a stitch and right into the first 15 i'm going to go with my single crochet so i'm going to go ahead and do 15 single crochets in the first 15 chains So right here, I just did my 15 set of single crochets. So for me, I'm going to switch my crochet hook back to my 4 millimeter crochet hook. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and do my first after the crochet right into the 16th chain. So we are going to do single crochets for 15 chains, 15 single crochets with the size 3 millimeter, with the size 3 millimeter. And right from there, we are going to switch to our 4 millimeter and go ahead and do half double crochet for the rest of the sleeve. So this is going to be your wrist area and it's I want it to be tight and not loose. So because I want the sleeve to be loose, so I'm going to go ahead and use a bigger crochet hook to get the loose fits in that I want for the sleeves. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk my way all the way up with after work crochet in all the chain till the very end. So this is how it looks. Um, right here I'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn so right into the first after we push I'm going to go in the back loop we're working in the back loop and right there I'm gonna go with my first after we push and into the next with another after we push so I'm going to continue to do after we pushes up until the 15th single crochet right here where i'm going to go ahead and switch my crochet hook and do my single crochets right there So right here at the end of my last after work crochet, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my 3 millimeter crochet hook. And for me, I'm just going to do my 15 single crochets also in the back loop. So I'm doing the single crochets right at the back loop as well.
So after my 15 set of single crochets, because we are working our way right to the top, so we will not be switching a crochet hook. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And I'm going to go ahead and do my single crochet right in the back loop up until where I go about switching my crochet hook right to four millimeter crochet hook again. So after my 15 set, I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to the 4mm. So this is actually optional. If you do want to use your crochet hook, you can use whatever size you want to use. But this is what works for me. So that is why I'm using and switching my hook. Because I want my wristband to be tight and not too loose. And if I do use the same crochet hook for this, it gets a bit too loose after a few rows. Because I'm going to make... 20 inches of this and my wrist is not even half of that measurement so using this technique is going to make my wrist band a bit tighter so i'm going to continue to do this for a total of 20 inches that is because that's what i when i was single crocheting my front and my back panel together i left a total of 20 inches for the arm all so i'm going to go ahead and just do rows of afterward crochet until my sleeve is 20 inches wide at this point Point, it is a total of one and a half inches so i'm going to almost one and a half inches so i'm going to continue to do this until it's 20 inches wide and then i'll repeat the same process for the opposite sleeve afterwards i'll come and show you guys how we can go about attaching both of them together to the pattern itself to the top so guys right here i have my sleeve complete so i did two of course because we'll be needing two of these so i did make two the same length and the same width so this is how it looks so the rib area because we did use a smaller crochet hook so it's a bit tighter than the rest of the sleeves so now i'm going to go ahead and just attach the sleeves to the the front and the back panel and to do that we are just going to go ahead and take the sweater the sweater that is right there and no firstly we are going to go ahead and single crochet the sides of the sleeves together so we are going to single crochet both sleeves together with straight single crochet all the way to the bottom so guys right here i have both sides single crochet together so this is how it looks so i'm going to go ahead and turn this over So guys, to sew the sleeve to the panel, I'm going to make sure that the seam area, which is right this end, is going to be right under the seam area of the top itself. So right here, there's a seam under the armpit. So it's going to align perfectly with this other seam, and then I'm going to single crochet everything together. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead align this both together because this is going to be a guide for me to know where I, what i'm doing by the way i am using my three millimeter crochet hook to single crochet everything together instead of the four millimeter that i used for the sleeves here i'm just going to go ahead and just single crochet everything all around you can also go this end depends on what you want to go for so i am going to go this end so i'm just going to align the sleeves like this this is the open so right here i'm just going to align everything And so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet both of them together. So guys, I have the sleeves um, single crochet together. So 
I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process that I did for this one to attach the other sleeves. So guys, this is the final sweater dress, as you can see. Like again, I said, you can play around with this. If you wanted to make a sweater instead of a dress, of course, you can do that. If you want to go for a dress like I did, that is also possible. If you want to go for a shorter, wider, that is also possible. But I just wanted to show you guys the final result. I if you do like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. We are almost at 8,000 subscribers. Um, so don't forget to like this video and give me a big thumbs up. And share this video with friends, people. It's almost winter. It's fall going to winter. So this is definitely a sweater everybody needs in their yeah what well, hope you need this like it's just so comfortable and also it's you can style it in so many ways and of course if you did get to make yourself one of these don't forget to tag them instagram at me and push because i'll definitely love to see your creations and the things you guys are making so i'll see you guys in my next video